An intriguing little story. Ruslan Coogan is a person who's, well, made it, well, he's only a young bloke, I think he's in his mid-twenties, and he's done himself pretty good in the internet world, selling cheap televisions and various gadgets, but has always had a desire to learn a little bit more about McDonald's, so applied for a job there. And he joins us. Ruslan, good morning. Good morning. How are you, mate? Very good, mate. Uh, just tell us a bit about your background first up. State your credentials, in other words. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I've got a uni degree in Bachelor of Business Systems. I worked at a few corporate jobs, Accenture, GE, a few of the big companies, and then uh, saw an opportunity to give the best value technology to Australians through an online business model selling LCD TVs and LED TVs. And so I started Kogan Technologies. And you made a few dollars? Um, yeah, it's been pretty good. It's uh, we're, we're growing month on month. Aussies love a bargain and they love some good value, so Kogan.com.au has been flying. Okay, so a nice bit of publicity there for yourself. Now, did you seriously want a job at McDonald's and why? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's one of my most respected companies in the world. I love what they do um, and, you know, there's... Their success is tremendous, and I wanted to know exactly how they do what they do and what sort of processes they use, and <laughs> just to get a feel for working for such a great company. All right, now it's fair to say that you're on the BRW Young Rich list, so one would assume you've got a few dollars in the till. Is that fair to say? It is, yeah. I wasn't getting the job at Maccas for the money. All right, and others have seen you successfully tell your story on programs like, you know, Today, Tonight and the Gruen Transfer, etc. So there's a pretty good chance that you are known, and when the person got your application, maybe they thought you were having a go, having a lend. Um, yeah, there's the possibility they, they recognised the name and maybe thought, hey, this guy may be what's coming to America is now looking for a caring girlfriend. Um, but, but, you know, the... The fact of the matter is I did it purely purely for the experience. I thought, well, um, I'm willing to do any job that they have. I said I'm available 24-7. I was willing to do night shifts, weekends, whatever it took. Um, I just I wanted the experience, and I would have done it full-heartedly. But if the McDonald's process involved Googling people's names or you know looking at a name and then trying to work out who that person is before you even consider the application, that... That's even a further credit to the processes of that, which I love. Oh, now, you filled out an application, which is a nine-page document. Like most people, would they be, with young kids, they'd be pretty familiar with that kind of documentation. It gives out details of address next to kin, that type of stuff. You did all that, you applied, and then they knock you back. And did they give you a reason? Uh, no, they said, at this time, your application was unsuccessful. All the best for your future endeavours. <laughs> And you're going all right, though. I mean, your net worth is estimated at $15 million. Um, yeah, well, my grandmother said I'm priceless, so I reckon they've undervalued me a bit. Fair enough. But, um, but yeah, so going all right. I wasn't doing it for the money. I was doing it for the experience. And really, I love I love what McDonald's has done. And, you know, cop a bit of flack in the media and that Michael Moron guy done his documentary. And, you know, the amount... The, the things that they've had to overcome to keep the business great is awesome. And also, you know, I travel a lot, so I'm sometimes in some pretty dodgy places in China. But if I, moment, mate, if I was a manager, time. though, I've got to say, if I was a manager and you applied for a job, you'd be thinking, why in the world would anyone like this bloke want to work in my store? And you're saying, oh, because I want to learn the systems, etc., and you're prepared to do any job, you can understand why they'd be a little bit, well, yeah. wary. Well, I want I wanted the experience. I was going to be fully committed to the job and do whatever it takes. But, um, yeah, yeah. The, the least they could have done, I think, is ask me. said, hey, mate, we put your name into Google and we saw what Kogan does and you guys are massive and uh, why is the CEO of Kogan wanting a job at McDonald's? I would have been happy to explain myself and say exactly what I want to do. But All the right. fact of the matter is that anyone... You know, they're, they're not looking for career-long opportunities for people that are working in the drive through and flipping the burgers. So <laughs> I was prepared to do whatever stints uh, they're willing to offer me, and I was going to be committed to it. All right, a couple of reasons. Perhaps you, you're a little bit too old and the pay rate goes up too much. We do know people, though, that own McDonald's stores. How long can you commit yourself to the job? We might be able to organise one for you. Uh, 
Um, as long as it takes whatever commitment they need, I'm willing to do. I love McDonald's. I love the actual business, <laughs> what they do, what they've done, and um, yeah, any opportunities. All right. So, I'd love that. so you're prepared to sign say an agreement that says that you'll work there 40 hours a week for three years? I don't know about three years. But <laughs> well, I've, give I us am, a time bracket. Huh? Give us a I don't sense. know. I've, I've, I've met, haven't worked for anyone for over five years, so it's the first job I've applied in, for in five years, but I'm... I am willing to, to make a commitment. All right, let's put you through the audition process. Let's say that I'm going through the drive through You're standing there. Away you go, son. Good morning. Welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? Um, mate, can I have the uh, bacon uh, and egg McMuffin meal, mate? Thanks. Uh, certainly. Is there anything else you'd like with that? Uh, no, nah, that's pretty well it, buddy. Are you sure you don't want a full HD LCD TV uh, from Kogan? <laughs> Very good add-on. <laughs> I think you've got some great publicity. Thank you so much for taking our call this morning, Ruslan, and we wish you all the best. And if you can't get a job over in the East, I certainly know someone over here that will give you one. <laughs> good stuff. Thanks a lot, mate. Good on you, Ruslan Kogan. And uh, obviously getting a bit of publicity for what he does. But he did apply, and they did knock him back. And I've got to be honest, if I was running the business... I reckon I might have done the same. You just kind of think sometimes you can be just a little bit too qualified for the job. But we need